Today, a lot of you have asked how we get star points. We're going to be covering the best ways to get those along with the fastest way to max your star levels. Let's go. Another day here. Uh, super annoyed by this. I don't know if you guys know this or notice this, but the flipping arrows that I have here keep hitting me in the back of the head every time I try to do a video. So those might go by the wayside soon, and I don't know. I break them in half or send them to somebody. I don't. I don't know what to do with those things yet. Anyway, so today is the day we are going to talk about star points. Star points because it seems like they're excruciatingly hard to come by. I mean, look at these things uh, up there. I, 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 I've been max level for a while. I spent a few star points a couple videos ago and disappointed that I haven't gotten more already, so I'm kind of frustrated. <laughs> Let's be honest, it hurts my feelings so badly. Anyway, so we are kind of going to go over the, all the ways that you can get star points along with kind of the best strategy, I guess, that you can take to get your star levels maxed out. Keep in mind that you do have to be King Tower level 13 before you can actually start accumulating those star points otherwise they are just experience points which upgrade your tower levels to well 13 they, they get you to king tower level 13 um, side note everybody else is in brawl star land at supercell headquarters right now it makes me sad <laughs> should have covered that game <laughs> maybe I could have went to Finland or maybe it's in my email and I haven't checked it yet I doubt it. Anyway, back to the case in point. Let's go over these one at a time. First and foremost, the easiest, obviously, easiest way to get your star points is to donate. Donate, 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 donate as much as you can. Uh, common gives you five. Rare gives you 50. Epic gives you 100 uh, star points. And then, the obviously, the legendary, you can't donate. So, let's go ahead. Uh, ooh. Did I just falsify your information? <laughs> yeah, I did. Sorry, rare gives you 10. <laughs> what am I think? 10. Okay, so common gives you one, rare gives you 10, epic gives you, I thought still 100, but maybe it's 50. Okay, and then can't donate. Anyway, so that's, okay, this horrible information. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Um, the number two way that you can get star points, um, obviously, is in the shop. Um, Unfortunately, I flip and bought it. I don't know what I was thinking, but I'll throw some stuff up on the, on the screen here. Um, you can actually get star points when you're maxed out on a card just by buying that card when it appears in the shop. So, for example, when you buy a common card in the shop, it's just the same as donating. You get one star point for every card that you do buy. Now, for example, these mortars here. The mortars cost 400 gold for 40 mortars okay so 10 gold a piece but you actually end up getting credited back 200 gold and then you get your 40 star points in this example in this transaction so it's pretty cool um the rares will go ahead they'll give you 10 star points and the same thing it gives you half the gold back you get half the gold back when you buy something that you're maxed on in the shop so you get 10 star points per rare the epics are a little bit saucy you get 100 so you get 100 star points per epic that you purchase and then half the gold back and then i think and i want to i want to say i'm right on this the legendaries when you buy a legendary from the shop that you're maxed out on it costs you 40,000 gold you get 20,000 back but then you get 1,000 star points so that's a saucy way to get star points pretty quickly um oh let's open this epic chest 10,000 gold? I think I will spend it. Uh, Electro Dragon, obviously, Pekka, uh, Rage, that makes sense. Dark Prince. Oh, so my stack was full on that. That's interesting. So let's see what we get here. Um, obviously, nothing. So that's cool. Um, <laughs> so I just got extra gold. I thought I would get star points for that just because my stack was full. I thought I would get star points. I'll have to go recheck the video <laughs> and see if it added star points for that 15, for those 15. Uh, extra dark prince I don't know anyway next way that you can get star points obviously is by leveling up your cards and I have saved for years and years I have saved my mortar 
just for this purpose, we are gonna upgrade my mortar from level one. Please, ladies and gentlemen, please. I'm not gonna max it out. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> We're gonna upgrade it from level one to see how many star points we can get at each level of upgrading. So level one obviously gives you four star points. Yippee! <laughs> okay. A level two. Five. What the heck? <laughs> That's lame. <laughs> Uh, are you guys adding all these up? Because 4 plus 5 plus 6, okay, so there we go, to do 9, 15. So 15 we've gotten so far, 25 total. I'm total and now here. You can see the little number at the bottom here. 20, ooh, 50 to level 5. Oh, nice, 25 on that one. So 50 we're at. Ooh, there's another 50 banger, just to level 6. So that's 100 star points. I'm trying to total this all up in my head. So 100. Uh, oh, 200. Okay, that gets it up to there. I'm gonna spend a lot of gold just doing this, aren't I? Uh, that's 400 star points, which is absolutely fabulous. Uh, there's another 400, so that's 800 star points we got so far. Um, I don't know if I wanna do that, so <laughs> level 10. So to get it to level nine, which is tournament, oh, that's above tournament. So to get it to level 10, I lost track. I think you have 800 star points is what you get to get it to level 10. And then once you upgrade to level 11, it looks like you get another 600 star points. So that's 1,400 star points. And then to go from 11 to 12, you get 800, so that's 2,400 star points, okay? And then from level 12 to max. Which card should we max today, my Dark Goblin? I kind of want to max a card so badly, but I kind of don't too at the same time. So 1600. So it looks like you get 4,000 star points for upgrading a card all the way from common, if it's a common card, all the way from zero, all the way up until max. So 4,000 star points per card. So once we do the math on that, give or take, we have 90 cards times 4,000. That's 36,000 star points. That's it? What? Oh my gosh, it's gonna take years of donating to get star points. I don't even know what to do. Like, huh? Dude, I don't know. They're be they're be they're 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 they better come out with ways to earn star points a little bit quicker. And I think they will. You know what I'm saying? Um, I thought that an interesting idea in this video, I have three things that I have star points on, and they're at the top of my thing. I'm gonna use them all in one deck and see how well I can do with that deck right now. So let's do that, let's do that. That's good defense, that's good that. I got no air defense, what am I doing? Oh, I got that. Let's take, let's put Mega Minion instead of the Valkyrie. Let's see how good, this is my star point deck, okay? This is what I have decided to spend my star points on. And, gosh dang, it's gonna take forever to get star points. Ha! Ah! <laughs> there better be ways to earn them like in challenges too, okay? They gots to, they gots to, because there's no other way that we're gonna earn star level, star points. Like, there's, uh, even if you max out our, all your cards, you only get, four, what I say, 4,000, 36,000 star points. So basically the bulk of your star points is gonna be coming through donations. Like, it's gotta be. Unless I did my math wrong, I probably did. 4,000 times 90, 90, I don't know. I probably did my math wrong, but I hope, I don't think I did actually. I think I'm pretty right on. So donations, flip. Okay, let's focus on this battle. Holy crap. So let's go other lane, just because he's gonna do that saucy stuff, and I don't know why I missed the tower. I guess that was kind of something fun that I wanted to do in life, is miss the tower. So I'm gonna go hog rider right here, right off the bat. And I think my theory with this deck is I'm only going to use one win condition until double elixir and then I'm going to throw the balloon right in their face and they're going to be like, what? This guy had a balloon the whole time? Because I know I hate it when people do that to me. <laughs> it's hilarious. So we're going to throw that out there. I'm going to throw a mega minion up there. Yes, yes, yes. We'll get a little bit of damage obviously from the baby dragon. But I'm okay with it all because I think that was a power play in my, in my mind. Too bad the, uh, will the Mega Minion stay alive? That is the biggest question I have right now. 
Come on, stay alive. Yes! One sliver of health. Do some damage on something, Mega Minion. Anything. Nothing at all. Okay, that adds up. That adds up. But we are getting some serious damage on the tower. He had to waste two elixir, which I love when they throw away those logs. Absolutely my favorite thing in the world. And it looks like those archers are going to beat up on us, so I'm going to use a little bit of log action just to take those down to Chinatown. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to use our Tesla on that. And you guys might be thinking, why did he use his Tesla on the baby dragon? And I'm going to answer you right now. I am. I don't know. I don't know. I probably should have saved her for the hog, obviously. <laughs> Because that hog is going to wreak havoc on my tower right now. That's okay. We're going to come at him pretty hard with a hog of our own. And I think I missed. Yes, I definitely did miss his uh, flipping ice thingy. What do you call that thing? Okay, so we're going to go like that. And I'm going to go guards this time. And it looks like he is wreaking havoc on my tower again. Which is very... Oh, no, you don't kill that. Oh, yes. So he missed the Tesla, which is perfect. Um... That should take, oh flip, it didn't take that out. So let's go here, here, here. And then I'm gonna do something a little saucy. I'm gonna throw a little bit of log action that way. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fireball that. I should have fireballed the tower, obviously, but I didn't, because that was my bad. So can I hold him off is the question. No, he's got a fireball, and he does have a log as well. So, oh, why did I put my miner there? No, 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 no. No, 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 don't hit that. That was such a bad miner placement. So I gotta go like this. And I gotta go log real quick. Please get down there. Oh, flipped. Is his log gonna hit first? It did hit first! No! I don't even know what I was thinking putting the miner there right by the flipping archer. That was absolutely insane finish. I'm glad you guys gotta see that. That's the second finish I've had like that in like the last day, though, where it was that close. Anyway, you guys rock.